You've probably heard that a woodpecker's crazy long tongue wraps around its skull and cushions the brain so it can hammer wood 20 plus times a second without a headache. Reality? Not quite. It's true that some scientists in the past have believed the woodpecker's long tongue provides some sort of inbuilt protection against brain damage due to frequent and impactful pecking. But a recent study concluded the woodpecker's skull doesn't act like a shock absorber. Instead, during pecking, their heads behave like stiff hammers. The long tongue and its bony support, hyoid, may wrap around the skull anatomically, but scientists now believe this does not cushion impacts in any meaningful way. The tongue structure doesn't significantly soften or decelerate the force of pecking. So, the tongue seatbelt explanation is busted. Woodpeckers have very small brains, tightly packed inside their skulls much smaller than a human's. That compact size means brains withstand deceleration much more easily. The same force that would concuss a human is negligible for them. Their skull bones include a spongy, dense inner layer that helps distribute stress. The brain sits snugly with little cerebrospinal fluid around it, reducing the chance of it sloshing around on impact, a big cause of concussions in mammals. Each peck lasts less than a millisecond, and the rapid sequence allows the force to dissipate quickly. The short impact time helps prevent injury despite extremely high G-forces. Woodpeckers can repeatedly slam their heads into trees without brain damage. Their long tongue does not act like a built-in helmet. That part of the common story is outdated. Their ability to hammer wood relentlessly comes from brain size, skull anatomy, and impact timing not from cushioning by soft tissues.